There, audio's there. All right, you can hear me? I can hear you, can you hear me? Yes, sir, we are good. Oh, good, I can see us. Yes, <sighs> looks okay, right? Oh, yeah. All right, so all I, I had to do was swap the two, swap the, swap the Twitter names because I put them backwards. And that happens. It covers the, you can actually see the, the, the Yelp logo in the middle if I move that out of the way, but it looks just as good like this. Yeah. See it? I mean, it's okay. And, uh, you know, we, we didn't even have to fix, whoa, all of a sudden we moved. Well, I was showing oh, you the you thing. you just did that. Okay. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. No, I was showing I'll you the, the uh, the, the logo in the background. Yeah, the, the only, um. Because I the live feed a moment ago. <laughs> the only pain is that Discord doesn't split up or doesn't separate the two video windows. So I can't move each one of them, like, um, uh, what's the word? Uh, independently of the, you know, on their own. Yeah. So it's only the one window with both of us in it. So that's why I had to swap the names and have to cover the logo in the background, but it's okay. Yeah. It still looks right. good to me. It's just missing the Yelp logo, but that's all right. I can move it and put it somewhere else for next time. We can, yeah, I, I can definitely work with this. Yeah, it's, it looks fine like this. Um, let me just check one mm -hmm. last thing. All right, there we go. Now we're good. All right. What's up, Anthony? Thanks for joining us in the chat room, buddy. All right, we got three viewers so far, so... Oh, well, now we have two. <laughs> one of them was unimpressed. I was about to say hello to everyone, and then somebody kicked, kicked themselves out, or whatever. Oh, well. Took themselves out, I meant to say. The two most important people in the world are in the chat right now. Myself and you? <laughs> Well, no, I, the two people watching. <laughs> anyway, now, so uh, that so, might be me too. <laughs> so, so this is episode two. We had a lot of fun with episode one, um, especially uh, my my favorite one was the Abraham Lincoln one and the the hand job girl. Yes. Um, so anyway, what have you been up to since uh, we last joined each other? Nothing much. Er uh, <laughs> everything in my life has changed. Uh, <laughs> For the better, I hope. Uh, yeah, for the most part, I hope. Uh, a lot of it has to do with, uh, you know, personal stuff at work, but um, they're changing the way things are done, which I think is a positive thing, so uh, that's good. And uh, I had to watch Super Mario Bros. I cannot movie. wait. I can't wait for that show, to hear that episode. Like, I'm looking at the <laughs> the scene selection page. <laughs> for on the DVD right now as we speak, because as soon as this show's over, I'm going to that one. <laughs> oh, is that for tonight's episode? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Then I'll be I will be listening and watching if I can. It's gonna be it's gonna be wild because I I remember <laughs> loving this movie and now I don't know why. <laughs> I'm like that with a lot. Of, I, I guess it's because we're. I I don't want to say I'm more mature, but. I'm older, put it that way. But there's a lot of stuff that I used to love as a kid, and now I'm like, I don't know, like the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't. I I watched. I couldn't get through the first episode. Like I'm like, this is awful. Like, why did I love this so much? Just because I loved D and D as a kid, I guess. But uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it is mind boggling just <laughs> how how you know the whole time I'm watching the movie, I'm wondering. Where did this come from? Because <laughs> you know, it's not from the video game. What did you do? So, I, I don't know. Uh, Alright, so do you remember which one of us went first last time? Uh, I think you did. Okay, um, then you can go first this time, because I don't remember. Alright, <laughs> so this is, this is fantastic, because I don't know why this is a one-star review. Oh, I have um, one of those myself. I have one that I don't out. understand at all. Well, the way it starts out is, if you're a 400-pound man that needs to eat volumes of food, maybe this place would be good. Well, that that describes me. So, um, I guess this place is for me. Uh, it's seriously just bad. Seafood buffet, in quotes? Okay, I guess you're right. Tiny shrimp do come from the sea. That's the only seafood on the buffet. Catfish is not seafood. Okay, now what? 
Why is catfish not seafood? How is it not seafood? And it's got fish right in its name. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, service was good. Salad was so wet that dressing would not stick to it. <laughs> that sounds gross. <laughs> Mac and cheese was watery and cold. Baked <laughs> beans were cold. Onion rings were cold. Chocolate cake was burned in the bottom, so the opposite of cold. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say chocolate cake was cold. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, I didn't want it heated. <laughs> and and to that it's the very next sentence is soft serve wasn't cold enough. <laughs> what does that mean? How much? How cold? It can't be that cold. I mean, it's got to be soft. I mean, it's not like you can have hard ice cream in soft serve. And it says no beer or wine. <laughs> just just not worth the time if you're not from the area. So if you're from the area, I feel bad for you that this is one of the best <laughs> around. <laughs> So, uh, that was for um, just what sounds like a delightful experience. <laughs> I have one of those. Uh, now I don't know which one it is. I'll get to it, but I have one of those also that's it's one star and I don't understand why. But I'm going to read. This one, I kind of cheated. It's three stars. But I, <laughs> but I think it's funny. So, for two seconds, we could be the three-star podcast. Um, <laughs> this one says... Uh, and actually, I didn't. Uh, only two of these I actually got the name of the place. So I know we don't usually say the name of the restaurant anyway, but I don't even know what the name of this place was. I don't remember. Well, uh, I got a KFC later, and I'm going to tell you that it's KFC. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> this one says, I just ate there about three hours ago. Now I have diarrhea. So as far as Chinese buffets go, this one's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be honest, if you have diarrhea an hour later, that's a good Chinese buffet. <laughs> there are so many Chinese buffets in my area, and I, I try to hit all of them at least once just to, like, experience them, and, and I don't know, they're all good. Yeah, I mean, even the lousy one that's right by my work is good, and <laughs> it, it it's because there are times where I'm in the mood for lousy Chinese food. <laughs> yeah, I'm there. I've been there. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it's standard fare and and i have all these questions like since when does chicken wings become a chinese food because all of them have it yep there's one by me called uh flaming grill mm -hmm. uh i i affectionately call it burning buffet because the first one after the first time i went there i couldn't remember the name i just knew it had something to do with fire and it was a buffet so i just put two and two together came up with burning buffet so now all my friends <laughs> call it that because i won't know what the hell they're talking about otherwise but they have, like, it's it's called Chinese Buffet and Sushi. I mean, Chinese Buffet and Hibachi. And uh, they have a section of sushi. They have, a, they have a Hibachi grill, which is great. And then in the Chinese Buffet, like you said, it's fried chicken, chicken wings, and pizza. And I'm, I, I don't understand. <laughs> I just don't get it. See, I understand the pizza because little kids will only eat certain things sometimes. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess that's a good point. But, it's just odd that they call it Chinese Buffet and they have pizza. Yeah, Oh, yeah, I 100% I understand. And Although, I mean, I live 15 minutes in New York City, so I've been to a pizzeria in the city run by Asians, which was baffling <laughs> to me. Yeah. <laughs> Especially in New York City. Yeah, I mean, like, there was a... Whenever we made the movie Monsters Anonymous, uh, Brian O'Halloran was down to be in it, and we, for food, had pizza from a local pizza place, and we asked Brian... Uh, who is from the area, uh, from New York. <laughs> uh, do you want some pizza? He's, he looked at it and he said, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> All right, what do we got next? Oh, you know what? I should probably mark off the one I, I don't well, have a pen. Oh, well. The next one I have here is, uh, see, okay, I have to ask, uh, <laughs> I don't know if this person is being serious about if if they really want to know this answer or what. <laughs> it sounds like it's going to be what, a good one already. Yeah, it's like if that is what pizza is supposed to be like, I'll pass. Like, how do you not know what pizza is supposed to be like? <laughs> uh, I have been twice, and the second time tried the ravioli. They gave me Chef Boyardee. Ugh. Over, uh, I, no, I will take Chef Boyardee over oh. that any day. 
it could be a cool place if they changed everything about it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that last line. It's like, it'd be great if it wasn't for everything. <laughs> I'm guessing that's not the KFC one. <laughs> no, that's not the KFC. That's not the KFC. I'll do that one next. Let me pull, find that one. But, uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to do the one next that I can't read because it printed out so small. <laughs> all right, so I don't understand. First of all, before I even read this one, I don't understand this because it's it's. I don't even know if you can see this, but it's labeled as San Francisco County Jail. Wait, what? <laughs> the, the The name of the place is San Francisco County Jail. Is that the? And this is what I don't understand. No, this is the this is the jail, the county. Jail. I mean, there's a picture of. The sheriff's department, uh, like like a pil- like a police badge. So wow. I, I don't understand, but this is the review. <laughs> this is what I don't understand about the about the name. <laughs> the review says, <laughs> "Good food, but not happy about the rat that ran right up the middle of the aisle by my table. Not happy at all. I'm sad to say this because I sort of like this place." <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I don't understand if that's like by an inmate or an inmate's an inmate's uh, wife or girlfriend or uh, I guess boyfriend or husband in this case from Bill yeah. F. But that, I don't understand this at all. <laughs> I have so many questions. Is this the actual jail? Because it seems like it, based on the evidence you've provided. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the I mean. <laughs> Do they have access understand. to Yelp in, in, in prison? That's why I'm assuming it's like an inmate's husband or, or boyfriend that went to visit, you know, whoever. And why would you review that? Though? I, I I don't know. That's the funniest. That's the funny part to me. Good like, food, but not happy about the rat. I'm I'm sad to say this because I sort of like this place. Really? Yeah. And this place is great. I would do a five to ten year sentence here just for the food. <laughs> oh, all right, good. That's the one that I they couldn't read. They have a read. Salisbury steak that you will die for. Uh, <laughs> Literally, in some cases. <laughs> it will be your last meal. Um, oh, man. <laughs> but uh, we have... Uh, that was a bit... That, that was a bit dark. Um, uh, I have... Okay, so this is the KFC review. Uh, Smoky Mountain Nasty. I love the way they opened it. <laughs> Learn to prepare food. The food is too salty. Are you looking to kill someone? <laughs> there are such things as heart attacks and strokes. I know it's fast food and not meant to be necessarily healthy, but come on now. They could choke out an ox with all this salt. <laughs> so... In other words, if you have hypertension, this is the worst place to go. Yeah. <laughs> I like that his only complaint was too much salt, essentially, but he put it in so many sentences that and so descriptive. Yeah. He's worried I appreciate, about how safe. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate the the wordiness and the creativity in those sentences. It's funny stuff. Yeah, you've you've definitely brought brought it to life. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta read this one real quick because this one made me laugh. Uh, this is from a taco place. Um, I didn't actually get where it was, or wh- where it is. It's called Taco Santo or Santo. Mm. Uh, I don't know where it is. I, I didn't get the the city or whatever. But it says the <laughs> the entire <laughs> the entire kitchen and waitstaff saw an ice cream truck drive by and ran outside, leave, <laughs> leaving me all alone in the restaurant. Ten minutes later, they all came in. They all came back in with their ice cream cones. I still can't believe this actually happened. <laughs> One star. <laughs> That's what you get whenever you get to a to a place run by toddlers. <laughs> oh man, that's good stuff. Can I freshen up your pudding? <laughs> uh, dude, we have been sitting here for like ever, and we just drove away because they never got our food, and I never experienced such crappy service. Rude workers, and I paid for new, no food. I couldn't do anything because they locked the doors, and I was just sitting in my car before I finally gave up and drove off. I mean, it, it sounds like he didn't even make it inside. So, yeah, it was just like a, at a drive through or? It was at a Burger King, but at the same time, it's like, were you sitting outside waiting for them to open? Or... <laughs> 
explain yourself. I don't know anyone that goes to Burger King that early. In the no, morning. I mean, it's like their breakfast is not good. No, <laughs> so, all they have is the croissant things. I think right. They don't have yeah. um, like egg only, muffin type stuff or whatever. No, only in America can we take something as wonderful as croissant and turn it into a sandwich. <laughs> I will always prefer McDonald's breakfast over Burger King. Yeah, I mean that is. Although they did get rid of my favorite thing, the <clears throat> skillet. Um, I don't even know what that burrito. was. It was a burrito, and it had uh, full size pieces of sausage in it, and uh, like a cheese sauce and scrambled eggs and onions and peppers. Why did they get rid of amazing. it? That sounds really good, actually. I don't know. I was so upset <laughs> whenever I showed up and I said. Uh, you don't have McSkillet anymore? Nope. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Anytime I get to really liking something on a menu, <laughs> they get it, rid of it disappears. Yeah. <laughs> so if your favorite thing is my favorite thing, it's gone. <laughs> I, I used to, uh, when I was heavier, I used to love McGriddles because it's like a, uh, you know, it's like a big, uh, not a Big Mac, idiot. It's like an Egg McMuffin in between two pancakes, yeah. which is awesome. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh. I, I've always been, I've always been partial to the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. Yeah, absolutely. Uh-huh. I'm not. I, I don't like. Um, I, should, well, I shouldn't say I don't like. I used to love uh, sausage, egg, and cheese, but oh yeah, I worked at a deli for a while for about a year, and uh, I worked the overnight shift where I had to make the breakfast sandwiches in the morning when I was for like the last hour of my shift that overlapped with the morning shift, and like. I just see them, they just cook in their own grease. It's so gross. Like, it's not like, if I could cook them on a foreman grill where all the grease kind of runs down and, and out of the meat, but, like, in, in the way that we had to make them there was just the patty on, like, a cookie sheet. And we just cooked it, and it would just cook in its own grease. And it was like, I saw how greasy it was, and it's, like, too much for me. So now it's, like, very rare that I'll have a sausage, egg, and cheese. But I'm a big biscuit, egg, and cheese. Uh, bi- Actually, biscuit, biscuit egg and cheese doesn't sound bad either. <laughs> that I'm a yeah. big bacon egg and cheese on a biscuit guy. Yeah, I mean, to to be frank, that sounded amazing. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, that's just me. I used to like working at Best Buy because once a month we would have these big staff uh, sales meetings on, on one Saturday a month. Uh, I think it was the last Saturday of every month. And, and, and everyone on staff was required to be there regardless of... Manager, sales clerk, you know, peon, idiot, whatever, cart guy in the parking lot. Uh, everyone was mandatory to be there. And our manager, John, would go to the McDonald's. They were always, because the store opened at 10, and the first shift started at 9, so we could have like an hour to clean up if we needed before the store opened. So all these uh, meetings started at 7. So we had to be there at 7 o'clock in the morning. So our manager, John, would go to the local McDonald's, which is on the same highway the Best Buy is on, a couple miles away, and he would get 200 breakfast sandwiches, just various. And whatever didn't get eaten, I got to take home. And, though I, you know, people say McDonald's is not real food. Those things stay in a, can stay frozen for, like, a decade. <laughs> like, like, you know, like six, seven months later, I'm still eating them from meetings six months prior. And they're still good. <laughs> they, you just throw them in the freezer and they're awesome. <laughs> that, that sounds phenomenal. I mean, Oh, they were so it, good. I never thought about it because of the fact that, you know, just my, my, uh, I never have leftovers. Yeah. The number of times that I have leftover food for breakfast is very slim. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I just never thought of that. Huh. And, and, and the fact that these were free because we had, you know, cause I worked there was awesome. That's a good budgeting tip. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So where are we at? Who's up next? I got the last one I've actually pulled up. I can pull up more if I need to, but uh, this was the one that made me uh, laugh before the show. Um, a good place to go if you want to get a few STDs and watch <laughs> large women line dance to pop hip hop. <laughs> I want to go to this place. Where is this? That's the whole review? That's the whole review. <laughs> That's tremendous. <laughs> when are we when are we taking this field trip? Oh my god. I gotta business. get my permission slip signed, but I would love to take that field trip. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, we don't have to do I let me let me see where this was. Because I've got I've got to know. Let me see. Uh, I could think of two places that that are by me that it could it could easily fall in that review. 
Um, Roper's Rockin' Country bar, uh, Barn Grill. Roper, so, like Mr. Roper? Yeah, I know. Mr. That's where, Roper, that's where he went? <laughs> wow. It's such a change. <laughs> he knows where the money is. That's so funny. <laughs> Roper's Rockin' Country Bar. Oh, that's good stuff. All right. Um, where am I at? Actually, I'm going to leave the one that... Uh, uh, there's a place that my fiance and I went to last night that I got a one-star review from that location that I don't even understand, but I'm going to save that one for last. Okay. So um, this one, I got one here that, again, I didn't... I don't. I guess I cut off the name of the place. Um, although I'm assuming it's Motel 6 because I have L6 and that's all I got and I cut the rest of it off. But this one's kind of funny and... <laughs> I don't know. It just made me laugh. Uh, I've never stayed here, but this is in my neighborhood. A friend of mine died in one of the rooms here in May. Whoa. <laughs> if you're going to make the effort to stay somewhere in Hollywood slash Los Angeles, try to pick a place that at least doesn't feel like someone died in your room. There's also <laughs> a pretty big drug... Oh, this is also in a pretty big drug neighborhood. Hence all the street barricades, making it impossible to drive straight down Yucca Drive. Shell out some extra bucks for a real hotel or look on Airbnb. <laughs> wow. He, he opens with, my, my friend just died there in May. <laughs> yeah, my friend just died there in May, so it's pretty rad. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what? Um, oh, wow. Man. That's a lot. That's a lot to unpack right there. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't even sound like he's like mourning. That. No. <laughs> He's, he's like, more in mourning over the hotel being shitty than his friend passing away at this hotel. Exactly. Man, the neighborhood has really gone to dump. <laughs> also, my friend died. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But, uh, so we've got, I've got one here. Um, I've only got one more. <laughs> uh, and, and that's the, the one that you went to, right? Yeah. So, that's 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 gonna be a treat. Yeah, that's why I'm saving it for last. I, I don't really understand it, but I'll I'll, <laughs> I'll get to that. Well, it says food was poor, veggies were raw, <clears throat> fries were soggy and greasy, and I believe the pizza we ordered for our son was a Totino's pizza <laughs> that you can get in the freezer section of the local grocery store. <laughs> Extremely pricey. The bathrooms were clean. However, the changing table was rickety at best. And a disgusting changing pad that was ripped. FYI, if you can purchase a new pad at Target for fourteen dollars, please bring it by and place it on the table. The fourteen dollars was the cost of my po' boy sandwich. Now you don't call it a po' boy sandwich, so you know these people aren't from the South. But <laughs> the the uh, the the thing that really get stands out to me about this one is that they spent a good half of the review talking about the bathroom. <laughs> so I wonder if they spent a lot of time in there. <clears throat> I think the thing that sticks out to me is that they have a child who's clearly a toddler, if they're still in diapers, and they're feeding them a whole pizza. Well, yeah, a whole Totino pizza. <laughs> That's yeah. the first thing that stuck out to me. Like, really? How old is this kid? And he's still wearing diapers and eating full pies on his own. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, <laughs> you know, one of the things that, that gets about Totino's pizza, because I, I buy that from my kids sometimes. It's not on terrible. The, no, it's not terrible. But on the back of it, it shows, like, it has the story of Totino's. And that oh, kind of really? Thing. I've never seen that part. And, and there's I gotta, like I gotta a, read this, though. There's, a, there's like a... A little black and white photo of uh, a store, uh, of a storefront that sells pizza, and, and there's a chef there, um, presumably Totino, and uh, <laughs> and I start to think to myself, is this really what he wanted? Because <laughs> because it's not a bad pizza, but it's not the <laughs> best frozen pizza. <laughs> right, right. So, is there how, is there a best frozen at. pizza? I mean, I there are frozen pizzas I like more than others. But... Although I just had uh, those Stouffer's French bread pizzas. I just had that for dinner. Those things are out of this world. Yeah, they're they're very good. I like those. Yeah, because um, they they have them on French bread. If I'm, I mean, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, well, they're French bread pizzas. <laughs> so yeah, well, so, um, but it, but it's, it's it's super well made. I, yeah. I really enjoyed it. So, um, 
my uh but my little girl just likes the totinos i don't know um it's better than uh red baron i guess oh god <laughs> i remember those yeah those are not good those no. and like uh mama celeste is it or celeste oh my something god, those are you know what i'm talking about yeah cardboard yes Yep, and they come with that little cardboard piece you're supposed to put on top of the uh, underneath the thing when you throw it in the microwave to make I, it crispy. Yeah, it just comes <laughs> out tasting like the cardboard. Yeah, yeah, it's not good. I think it's Mama Celeste, or maybe it's just Celeste. I, I, I think it's it could be Celeste, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I, we used to get it at the Dollar Dollar Tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's where I've had them from, the Dollar so, Tree here. It was like, hey, this looks good, and it's it, it never. I can never get it to cook evenly. Like, the crust, or the outside is, is scorched, and the middle is still frozen. I'm like, yeah. I don't understand. It doesn't work. How does this happen? <laughs> and, and, it, and it's doughy in certain sections, and yeah. the cheese doesn't quite melt right. I don't even know if it's cheese. It's like... <laughs> it's probably like asbestos or something. <laughs> oh, that's not... Good. It's like the ones that, that, the ones that are microwave cooked are awful, and the ones that you can put in the oven are pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Like I've never uh, had I, a, uh, I've never had a. Um, what's the commercial? It's not delivery. It's somebody. DiGiorno. Yeah, I've never had one of those. Oh, those are, are those any good? good? Yeah, they they uh, they actually rise in the oven. It tastes it tastes like pizza. Uh, a pizza that you would purchase at a pizza place that is not very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there's a shining review. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Tastes but, like you know, as far as frozen pizzas are concerned, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I may have to try that eventually. I'm not a big, um, like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big mom and pop, you know, mom and pop guy, like, real pizza. Yeah. I'm not, like, like, I'm not a big Domino's guy. I'll get Domino's, like, once in a while just because it's quick. It's yeah. quicker than, like, the mom and pop places, but I'm a big mom and pop guy. Yeah, the best, uh, best place that I know around here is a place called Sal and Mookie's on the beach. And uh, they have phenomenal pizza, and uh, and if I do go for a franchise, I go to Marco's, which is uh, and and that's if I have the money because it's kind of pricey. Right. But they they have really good food at Marco's. Um, the uh, but yeah, we have we have a Domino's less than five minutes away, so sometimes I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes I mean, and I don't <laughs> mind like their cheesy bread. I think is pretty good. Yeah, and um, their garlic. I don't know what the hell they're called. The, little the garlic, garlic knots? Yeah, I guess that's what they are. Those I, I aren't used bad. used to say they look like little Jesus fish. I mean, they, they, <laughs> well, yeah. Like, right, because the way they're folded or twisted or whatever. Yeah, it's weird. I'm like, whoa, this looks... Wow, okay. That's pretty funny. I never I never thought of that before. That's pretty yeah, funny. Yeah, garlic... I call them garlic-flavored Jesus fish. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me get to my last one here. And um, First of all, I don't understand... Well, let, let me read it first, and then I'll, I'll get to that afterwards. Uh, this is a place called Texas de Brazil. I don't know if you guys have one there. But no. um, I've been to the one in Tampa, Florida a couple years ago on vacation with my fiance and a couple of friends, and I fell in love with the place. It's like a rodizio place where you, where you, uh, you sit down, and they just come around with a whole bunch of meat. And they, oh, give you, yes. they give you this little card, and one side's red, one side's green. So if you're good to go, you put it on green, and they'll bring you the next thing. And when you're not, you know, when you want to take a break or you're done or whatever, you put it on red, and they don't come over. Um, so the first time we went there, I must have, I must have ate like six pounds of meat. It was amazing. Plus they have That's a salad glorious. bar. Oh, it's so good. So wow. we went last night. They opened one in our area um, last June of 2017. We haven't been there yet. Um, I got a gift card for my birthday last year, which is also in June, uh, for my sister for for dinner there. So the gift card covered everything too. Dinner, tip, you know, uh, we didn't get we didn't get alcohol but sodas. Um, so it was it was good. And uh, I love this place because I'm a big meat guy. Uh, big massive carnivore here. Yeah. So this review says this is from a month ago. I don't know what location it was. Oh, I'm an idiot. This is the location I went to last night. That's why I picked this. Um, uh, this says, Was there last night and it was very busy. Service was amazing. Sarah took great care of us. Seven in all, with including two young kids. The salad bar was fresh and had a nice variety of food. The meats were on point, coming out hot and medium to medium rare. We'll definitely be back. One star. 
What? I don't understand. Right. He has very <laughs> discerning tastes. <laughs> so this is a really good review with a really shitty rating. I don't understand the one star, but I agree with the review. I mean, it was it was great when we went last night. Everything was really good. Um, I just don't understand why this is one star. Yeah, uh, probably <laughs> accidental. <laughs> But, I, I, I gotta hope so. But, I mean, you can go back in and update your own review. So I don't get it. That is bizarre. <laughs> Maybe it's there were too many good reviews and they wanted to take it down and not. <laughs> hey, you meaty right. bastards. Don't get too, don't get too big-headed now. <laughs> we don't want you to get, get it to where you can't get into the kitchen but with your head being so big. Yeah, we, we don't want you to think your food's good. <laughs> it was really good though man i mean i i you you gotta come up and visit and we'll take you there man oh absolutely that's that's a restaurant after my own heart you know i love to go to disney World, yeah me too one of, one of my favorite places to go is ohana which has a very similar um a similar setup where they would come and uh, now you don't have a way of telling them to please come or not but uh they'll they'll just keep on coming with with shrimp and, and uh, pork and right. steak, and oh, they just yeah. keep coming until you're done. And it's uh, and for me, uh, oh, it's hilarious. We, I live on the Gulf Coast shrimp town basically, and <laughs> uh, the guy like is is putting the shrimp on our plates, and he's like, now these shrimp are ver uh, are are uh, have the shells on them. Uh, are you going to need any? No, we're not going to need any assistance. <laughs> <laughs> Just go away and let us devour this. <laughs> the, these guys come with a, a big skewer, which I think is uh, two. I think it's two feet tall or two feet long, whatever. Just lined with one type of meat. So they'll come over uh, and say, yes. uh, "Filet mignon wrapped in bacon." And if you say yes, I mean they only give you one piece at a time, which I'd Filet like to get like ten. Bacon. Yeah, oh, it's so good. So what um, am I still doing here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should be in your car already, halfway up here. Um, so. They only give you one piece at a time, which is okay, because it, it lets me not fill up so quick so I can try everything. Uh, there was only two things that they had last night that, for some reason, they just didn't offer to us. I don't know why. Everything <laughs> else, they, like, they had uh, leg, or lamb chops, which I don't care about anyway, and some, like, Parmesan-encrusted chicken legs, which they didn't offer to us either. I don't know why those two guys didn't come over, but whatever. But it, it wasn't, they weren't, I mean, I would have tried one of the chicken legs, but whatever, I don't care. I had enough yeah. for everything else. But, like... Well. It's 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 an expensive place though. It's forty five dollars per person. That's just for that's just for dinner. So that doesn't include drinks, uh, <laughs> like, alcoholic right, or I'm otherwise. And coming back. <laughs> <laughs> like so that doesn't even include drinks, like alcoholic or otherwise, or dessert. Which I don't usually get dessert, but um, yeah, I usually just fill up on like the main course. But last night my fiance was like, you know what? I'm gonna stop now. I think so. I have room for dessert. I'm like, that's a great idea. <laughs> and I got this awesome, like, cheesecake. They called it Brazilian style, which I don't know what the hell that means because it was, I could have bought it anywhere in any supermarket, it seems like. But it was really, <laughs> really good. <laughs> and they took care of us really good, and, and everything was awesome. So I don't understand this guy's one star review, but it's a great review. Well, I am, <laughs> I'm glad that it wasn't worth the one, that it was worth more than the one star. Oh, yeah. And, uh, I, I, You've got me convinced that I need to at least try it at some point. If you go to their website, I think I didn't try this. My uh, my girl said she saw it, but if, if you go to the website, which I think is just texasdaybrazil.com, they actually list yeah it is they actually list all the meats that they offer. So I don't know if they and I didn't look at this yet, like I said, but I don't know if they go to um, different if they have different meats at different locations or if it's oh. all the same menus or whatever. But it's really, really good. Here we go. If you click on meats. Plus, they have a salad bar with, like, all fresh stuff there that they constantly refill. So, you know. So, when you see a guy refilling, you know it's fresh. Yeah. And uh, they have a separate section with all hot soups. Um, in fact, the only thing I, that I didn't like was they had lobster bisque last night. And not only did it not taste like lobster bisque, there was no lobster in it. So What? Yeah, I, I I like lobster bisque that has chunks of lobster in it, which I can only find up here at Costco for some reason. And Weird. Uh, and Costco's have really big chunks of lobster, and I love their lobster bisque. But for some reason, this place just didn't have any. But uh, but yeah, if you go to their website, I'm actually looking at it now. There is a uh, a section that says meats, and there's just it shows you everything. And then I guess if you click on it, 
Oh, yeah, yeah. So the, there's a plus sign. You can click on it to see what it is. And uh, it's, it's just so good. Herb marinated pork loin. Pe they have this stuff called pecana, which I never heard of, but it was really good. Uh, Brazilian sausage. Leg of lamb. That's the one that the guy didn't give to us. Chicken breast wrapped in bacon. I had like eight of those, which is great. Hmm. Alcatra. Lamb chops. They also didn't... Filet mignon wrapped in bacon. So they had that, and they had regular, like, non-bacon filet, which both were great. Parmesan, uh -huh. pork loin. Did you find it? I think I found one near me. Really? Uh, well, if... Okay, if you if you think a three-hour drive is near me. Oof. Uh, well... It's closer than driving all the way to here. Yes, it is. <laughs> the one that's the one by us is about a thirty-five minute drive as well, which is not ideal for if you're hungry. But you know, if you can wait a little yeah. bit, then I don't mind driving that far. And and plus, oh. I mean, like I said, we had a gift card. Did There's one me? in Baton Rouge. I I, I which can is closer. Yeah, it's closer, and I know people up there, so I'd have a go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I would say definitely check it out, but bring a good like seventy bucks with you, maybe. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Which is like, yeah. I, I mean that. To me, that's that's a lot for it to, is you know for you one know. person. Like our bill was close to 130 without a tip, um, just because we had we had we had like I don't know five or six sodas, which were like three dollars each or something, or two dollars each, something like that. And then we had dessert, so you know it it adds up. But I'm not usually a dessert guy, which tells me that since dessert is extra, and you know the meat is included. And you're already paying forty five dollars per person for the for just the meat or just dinner, I should say. Uh, dessert is extra, so just don't have any dessert. Just eat all meat because you're already paying that anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'm normally not a dessert person, so you know I only get it if it's included in the price. Yeah, see, <laughs> I'm I'm usually not when we go out, but at, like at home I'll have like whatever cookies or ice cream or something like that. But when I go out, oh, I usually yeah. don't. Um, but just last night, I, I just, I hadn't, we hadn't been there in, like I said, about two years. And I thought, you know, I'm going to see what they have here and check it out. And everything was awesome. Yeah. Well, that, uh, look, you got me sold. Yeah. I would say definitely check it out at least once. It's just, it's, it's not someplace I can go to every month because of the price. But if I could go to every, every month, I would, <laughs> if I could afford it once a month, I would definitely go. A hundred percent. I mean, I know. Like I just uh, this week I went to a sushi place. Oh, that's my uh, favorite. With, uh, yeah, with my uh, with my girlfriend, and because she was in town, and this is the first time I've ever actually been able to take her to sushi. And we uh, and because of that, I went to the best place that I knew of, and it was great. But I could not afford it if I wanted to do it again today. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, so, see, me, me, and uh, my fiance, she loves sushi too. So there, there's a place we go to that's, uh, I think it's thirty two dollars per person, but it's a buffet. So yeah, and the the thing about this is that all the um, all the stuff is in the center. It's like almost like uh, like rectangular shaped, and then in the center of that is where they actually make it. So yeah, there's people on uh, people inside of the the buffet style. I don't even know what you call it the tables or whatever that are making it. So I usually, when I go there, if there's something specific I want, I mean, I always have a little bit of everything, but I always wait for them to put out new trays so I know it's fresh. Yeah. And, uh, and they make it right in front of you. Um, and it's really, really good. But like I said, it's like $32 a person, and that doesn't include, um, you know, drinks or whatever. So I, I always, we kind of go there sparingly, but it's it's always worth it when we do. Yeah. Oh, we have expensive tastes. Yeah. <laughs> Sushi. I mean, there, there's there's uh, lesser priced sushi places by us that we that we can go to more often. But oh yeah, they're they're always just sit down, order, and get you know you get what you get. I I prefer the buffet thing because like, you know, I can eat as much as I want, and I can I can eat a lot. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, we got um, we got what they called the love boat. <laughs> and is that the big like, wooden boat? Yep. Oh, the big that old is... sampler boat. Uh, and uh, it was. Packed with with sushi. Yeah, and, they're expensive. Those things, if I remember yeah, correctly. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, the one thing that surprised me is that they have octopus on it. Oh, and that's not I, for me. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I'm like, you know, I'm gonna try it. And it was great. And I'm like, what? Really? Who who is this person that likes octopus all of a sudden? <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. I, I I can't do octopus and I can't do eel or unagi. That's not my. That's not yeah. for me. Yeah. Understood. 
Yeah, actually, my fiance is in the chat room right now saying our first date was sushi. Uh, Aww. I paid for it, and she said I could audibly <laughs> hear the gulp when he got the bill. <sighs> Although that was a different place. That that place, uh, the place that she's talking about, we went to on our first date. We actually go there every year now on our anniversary, Aww. like to commemorate our first date. So it's June fourth. So we've been there every year since. Um, which we've been together four years. So fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, so we've been there five times. Does that make sense? Yeah, it absolutely does. Yeah. Yeah, because we met twenty fourteen. Yeah, so we've been there five times now. On the, I mean, we still go there once in a while, like. You know, other than that, or they we uh, we they deliver. So, but uh, yeah, we go there every um, every June fourth. But it's one of those places like where you just sit down, order, and you get what you get. Um, I really I, I like that place a lot because the food is really good. So I'm okay with I'm okay with just ordering off a menu. Um, but the buffet yeah. place is like that place has the key to my heart. Yeah, <laughs> I understood because you know, there's nothing there's nothing better than knowing. That you know, I really liked this role. I'm going to get more of it. Right. <laughs> like, know? yeah. Like, I'm not. Uh, I don't have to stop right now if I if I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll, that that's the cool thing about this Texas Day Brazil place that they give you the little little red and green card. So if you eat 18 pounds of stuff, you just flip it over to red, and they'll give you a break. So I can, <laughs> you can sit there for, and it's all you can eat, obviously. So you can sit there for 10 minutes and take a break and let it settle before you decide whether you want more or you know whatever you want to do yeah i'm gonna tap out here for a second yeah and i'm back there 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 are there were some waiters that even though the thing was on red they would still ask offer like hey do you want filet with bacon i'm like no give me a couple minutes like if the thing is red i don't understand why you're over here (laughs) but uh but you get the idea but yeah i definitely recommend that place um to anybody it's texas D.E. de Brazil, like, uh, you know, I don't know, Spanish or whatever, yeah. dot com. I definitely check it out if uh, if you haven't already. And they are not a sponsor. No, but, uh, <laughs> hey, maybe maybe, uh, maybe we can get that going. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> oh, God, I'd be there every day. <laughs> Live from Texas de Oh, Brazil. that would be amazing. If you could do, for, you could be at the one by you, and I'd be at the one by me, and we would do it like through Skype on our phones or whatever. <laughs> oh, that would be great! <laughs> oh, Lord, get a whole setup going. Uh, that's the last one I had. That's actually. I, I think I think that's a good time to to put a pin in it. Yeah, man. Uh, good talking to you again, of course, and I Absolutely. appreciate everyone watching. We, uh, I think we got up to eight viewers this week, which is still kind of low, but. We're only on our second episode, so we're getting the ball rolling. Hopefully, word of mouth will be uh, will be taking over soon. I know there was a couple of, a couple of really nice comments on the YouTube um, after I, I uploaded the last episode to YouTube. Um, I know there was some nice comments on there, so I hope that keeps on coming. Yeah, well, I'm I'm gonna uh, keep on sharing them, and uh, everybody just uh, subscribe and. Uh, share it with everybody because it doesn't cost anything to do that. <laughs> exactly, and it helps us out a lot. So, um, sir, I thank you for joining me again. It's always a pleasure, and uh, uh, I, I thank you again for asking me. To- oh, man, uh, no problem, man. This is a lot of fun, especially with some of these wacky <laughs> some of these wacky reviews that we find makes everything yes. worth it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so thanks again, everyone watching. And uh, for me, I'm Joe, and he's Wally. And uh, see you, buddy. Live long and smoke meats, everyone. <laughs>